Hi guys and welcome back to the Cassie Projects. Today is a tiny Tuesday but this is the real time version so that you can learn how to do watercolour too. I'm not a professional but you know I can give you an idea on my technique and how I do things. So this series is where you guys choose what I draw. So I had a comment from KDV Gaming 329 and they suggested that I paint a duck. So that's what I'm going to do today and I've chosen a silver apple yard duck. Well actually a drake, I've decided to go for a boy. Uh, mainly because I wanted to paint the green head. So that's how you tell the difference between the boy and the girl. The girl is just white and brown all over whereas the boy has got a green head and yeah. The boy birds are always a little bit prettier, I'm not gonna lie. They've always got some significant colouring on them that just makes them more attractive. So yeah, let's go for a little boy duck. As you can see, I've just propped up my book um, so that I can get the perspective right because when you've got your paper laying down, you're looking at it from the wrong angle at all times. So sometimes you need to lift up your book just to make sure you're not elongating your drawing because it just makes it a little bit stretched. So now I'm going into the inking process using my 0.8 fine liner by Unipin and I'm also going to use my grey uh, Unipin fine liner which I think is 0 0.5 uh, just to add those minor little details so you just add like a few feathers in there and it's you can't really see it when you've done the painting um, but it kind of just helps out when you're doing the painting process to know where the wings are and where the line is where you've got the green head and so on. So um, yeah, there is our inking process done. Let's move on to the painting part of this video. So my palette today, there's some that I haven't used in this uh, painting. So I'm just going to tell you the ones that I did. We've got Organic Vermilion, Hansa Yellow Medium, Ultramarine Blue, Sepia, Buff Titanium and Payne's Grey. So I didn't use the violet or the rose in this painting. So I've put down some water on the chest of the duck and then I'm putting some buff titanium on there and just blending that out where the shadows would be. So there's a bit of a lighting on the front of his chest so I'm just uh, popping that round the edges. And then what I'm going to do with that nice uh, wet background is I'm going to add little dots of sepia because this duck kind of has, uh, it, it's almost like freckles the feathers are. There's just these little dots of brown all over the chest of the duck. It's really beautiful, you should google the silver, silver apple yard duck. Um, but yeah, because I've got um, wet paper the sepia is just blending into that buff titanium and it's gone all blotchy and I love, 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 love the effect that it gave. Instead of going straight onto dry paper where you've just got these dots, it's kind of blending out and it looks more realistic. It, it makes it look more freckly and dotty like, like feathers would be. So I just spent some time just adding lots of sepia dots all over the chest of the duck and let them blend into that buff titanium. So now we've got lots of freckles on there, I'm going to dry that with my hair dryer. But I'm not going to let it be completely dry because I still want it to blend out just that little bit. So I'm just adding some more sepia dots and they're just a little bit darker um, because I didn't put as much water in there. So I used my finger just to dot that out because I didn't want it to be so severe. So I added a little bit more water into that sepia mix and dotted it in again it blurred out into that wet page, the buff titanium, and just made these darker um, little splodges basically. And I'm just layering that on um, just to, yeah, make the feathers look like feathers. Thank you. 
as you can see on the drier bits you're getting more uh, darker dots of the sepia um, because it's not blending out into that paper And now I'm going to mix a nice green colour for the head of the duck. I'm using my ultramarine blue and hands yellow medium and making this lovely green colour. So like I was saying before, you can often spot a drake, which is a boy duck, by its green head. I didn't know any of this until I had ducks and chickens and all that. Um, I just thought a duck was a duck and uh, yeah, I didn't even think about the fact that boys and girls had like different colouring and feathering. Um, so yeah, this apple yard duck has this lovely green head and it's like this lovely reflective colour. Very similar to my ducks that I've got at home. So I've got Cayuga ducks and they're known as the gothic duck um, because they're a black colour. Well, not really black, it depends on the lighting. So they've got green feathers and sometimes they're even a purple colour when you catch them in the sunlight and they're just incredible. So um, yeah, it's a bit like the head of a Cayuga on this duck and oh. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding the green to the duck in the areas that it's more green and then I will add a little bit of ultramarine blue to the mix just to darken it up because the bottom of the head is a lot darker colour and I do darken that up even more later on. Um, but then I'm going to add a Hansa yellow to the mix so that we can get this nice bright vivid green because you've got a bit of reflection on the duck's feathers just near the eye and around the top of the head. So I'm just adding that in there and I'm just letting it, going to let it blend into the other greens um, just to yeah let it do its thing some exciting news for our house so um as you may know i run my little cassie's mini farm um where i sell ducks and bunnies and do lots of different breeding and i love it so much and the school that is local to us has just hatched out some little ducklings and we get to keep them which is awesome so they're going to give those ducklings to us and i can't wait to show you guys these ducklings they're so cute they're a mix of like six different breeds so they're like all different colors there's some that are like black and yellow speckly gorgeous little things they're so adorable I'm so excited to get them so there's five little ducklings that we're gonna be receiving soon when they're finished playing with them in the classroom <laughs> and then we get to keep them um, so yeah one of the videos I'll show you the ducklings when we receive them so I'm completely drying that layer and then I'm going in with yet more sepia and just adding more um, dots to the front of the duck on its chest. So for you guys that are enjoying this series, please let me know uh, what uh, you'd like me to paint next. Um, I love all the different suggestions. I've had some hilarious comments um, of some unusual creatures that I've never heard of before. Um, a lot of different weird hybrid animals. Um, not sure if I've got the imagination to do these weird hybrid animals. Um, maybe I should try one. Let me know. Let me know what you want to paint. Well, well I'll have to do one of them. So um. <laughs> um, yeah, we've done another farm animal in this one. I quite enjoyed doing the octopus. Um, I wouldn't mind doing another sea creature. And there's a little bit of unusual space on this page that we've got to fill in. The, uh, next to the chicken and the rat there's like a long thin area. So if you can think of something that's kind of like tall, um, that would be really handy. So we can fill in that space because yeah, I don't know what will fit in there. Maybe we need a few insects actually, some small little insects to go in between, that would be quite good. So yeah, more sea creatures, totally up for that. Doing some insects, I think I'd quite like to do an insect. Um, yeah, let me know, let me know in the comments. 
Moving on to the wings of the duck. Uh, again, using sepia and making these larger splodges. Um, so the wings have got these uh, darker areas of feathers and then these white areas of feathers. Um, and yeah, they're just tucked into the body. So I'm just creating these little shapes um, across the body of the duck um, to show where the wings would go. Also, um, when we finished this spread in the sketchbook, I'll have to move on to something else. So let me know what you would like me to do in another series. Um, instead of animals, maybe we could do different types of flowers or different types of... Um, I can't even think of anything. Oh, food. Oh, we could do loads of pictures of food. I love drawing food. That'd be so cool. And the sketchbook could be full of like all these different types of things. It'd be really, really cool. So yeah, let me know if you've got any ideas of what the next series could be because we need to start thinking about it. Again, I'm adding some buff titanium to the body um, just to wet that paper a little bit so I can add a few more sepia freckles. And it's not a completely white duck, it's got that slight discoloration. So the buff titanium works really, really well. And as you can see, I'm now adding a bit of sepia into that of titanium and letting it spread out and having this lovely freckly texture to the chicken. Chicken? No, it's not chicken. It's a duck. <laughs> so lately, me and Tom cannot stop thinking about moving to the countryside. Um, I mean, we, we've always been obsessed with the thought of going to the countryside, but since we went to Wales last month, Oh, I just can't get it out of my head. And now you're making me draw a farm animal again, and now I'm thinking about it again. And I just want to move to the countryside and be in the middle of nowhere. Oh, it just sounds glorious. And have billions of different animals around me. Oh, it'd be so nice. If you live in the countryside, let me know. Um, make me jealous. It might make me actually do it. Maybe I just need to do it. You know, I don't want to regret in life not move into the countryside if it's something that I've always wanted to do but maybe I'm supposed to be here for a little bit longer you know who knows wouldn't it be nice if my YouTube career took off and I could just live wherever I wanted <gasps> oh, glorious. and now it is time to add a little bit of Payne's grey so I noticed on the back of the duck its tail feathers um, are this almost black colour so I'm using my paints grey for that. Now another way to work out whether a duck is a boy or a girl they have um, so the boys have their tail feathers curling up and round whereas girls tail feathers just go straight out um, so yeah you can tell this is a little boy duck because it's got little curled tail feathers. I'm adding a bit more paints grey using um, the little dot in motion as per usual um, to give it a few dark feathers as well and just add in a little bit of shading to the bottom um, to the base of the duck. And while we've got the paint grey out I thought I would deepen that green on the duck. Um, it was a little bit too lighter coloured um, so I'm bringing that paint grey to the base of the neck and drawing it up. I do a little bit of a line around the eye um, but then I'm going to leave that surrounding bit um, with the green because that's where the reflection is hitting the duck. Going around all the edge of the head um, just to show where the shading is basically. And then I go in with that green colour that I mixed before, adding that bit of Payne's Grey off my brush and just adding that into there so it all blends together nicely.
Now on to the little feet of the duck. So I'm using my organic vermilion and mixing in some Hansa yellow to make this lovely orange colour. And I'm just going to add that to the, um, I suppose the bones in the feet. Um, yeah, because that's where it was a little bit darker. And then I will add a more of a Hansa yellow mix to that and add that to the feet after I've dried it because I didn't want it to blend into each other too much. While I had that Hansa yellow out, I thought I would paint in the beak but then I realised that the head was too wet so I'm going to give that a little bit of a dry first and then go in with a little bit more of Hansa yellow and finish that beak off and of course the feet. I then add some buff titanium to the yellow and pop that on the end of the beak because um, there's a little bit of discoloration on the reference picture um, that I was copying and then I'm going in with some bleed proof white by Dr. PH Martins. This stuff is amazing and yeah I'm just going to add a little bit of white to those bits that need brightening up a little bit. So there's this stripe on the neck underneath the green um, on these apple yard ducks so I'm just bringing that in a little bit more adding a few white feathers to the wings and also just adding a few little highlights to the feet where the light was uh, touching them so as I've mentioned in my other real-time videos because this is when I can just natter and just talk about anything I want so uh, as I've mentioned in my other videos I've started up a little Etsy shop thing and I've been trying to think of different ways that I could earn money as an artist um, so yeah so I did a little portrait like customizable portrait thing on there and my latest one that I'm doing is some little birth certificates um, for breeders basically so when I sell my little baby bunnies I always give them a, a birth certificate to go with their bunny um, just because it's really nice it just makes it a little bit more special it's all about those little touches um, so yeah I thought actually I could put that on my Etsy um, so I've been signing a few different um, birth certificates so I've done a little bunny next I might do a little guinea pig or maybe some dogs um, so if you're a breeder let me know which animals you breed and yeah I'll make more birth certificates to put on my Etsy it's been uh, really fun actually <laughs> I'm really enjoying it, doing these little cartoons of animals and yeah, putting them on these little birth certificates. It's nice, it's really enjoyable and it's, you know, just a little something for me. So I just sit and doodle and do a little bit of graphic design. It's great. So yeah, I'm really enjoying the Etsy stuff. I decided to add a little bit of sepia to the highlight of the eye because it was just a little bit too bright um, in comparison to the reference that I was copying. And let's write week four next to this little duck because we've completed four little animals. So what will I be painting next week? It's up to you guys to decide what you would like me to paint. So please drop your comments down below or search out for my little short and drop some comments on there. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on Friday. Bye.